Hi there, I'm Suzanne, Head of Carer Support here at Mobilise. This is our final video on the series on um, tackling our to-do list. We're breaking through procrastination and we're getting things done. And most importantly, we're making more time to do the things that we want to do, the things that are important to us and time to relax without feeling guilty. So time for a bit of a recap, first of all, how's it been going? You, um, if you've not watched the series, then go back to the beginning and start watching some of those videos. But we've each been working on something small, a regular routine task that we want to work on, and a bigger project, something that's more important to just us, perhaps a bigger goal, as we think through all these different reflections. So time now to look back and see how did you get on. Perhaps you've already cracked it. Perhaps like me, your meal planning is going really well or whatever it was you were gonna work on. So how is that going? What has been the secret of your success? Um, and if, if not, you know, what's getting in the way? What do we need to shift? But above all, whether you've completed that task or not, it's important to have a look at what are the general things that you've learned about yourself and the issues that you have perhaps around procrastination, getting things done, that you can apply those same learnings to other things that you want to get done as well. So what's been your learning and where are you up to? Now we also were working on that bigger project, that goal that was more about us and that was important to us. How's that been going? Maybe you've really started working on it. Maybe it's still sat there on your to-do list and um, despite all of these different reflections, it's not something you found a breakthrough with. So I've got one final tool for you today that I hope is really going to help with this. And what I want you to do is to think about this um, bigger project, this um, dream that you have, this goal that you have that's for you. And just first of all, recognise it's not a simple task. It's not something that can sit on our to-do list like all those other easy things and just be ticked off. That's probably why we're not getting to it. We probably need to break it down a bit more. Let's look at this truly as a project. Now, I don't want you to go off and do a project management training course, and that would be quite dull, but we can use some skills that project managers would do when they're planning out a task. The first thing is to break that project down into easy tasks. Now, my favorite way of doing this is to grab a pile of post-it notes, one task per post-it note, pop them up on the wall, and then you can move them around and change the order. And then if you want, you can break them down into a to-do list, um, we quite often like to leave them on the wall and pull them off and tear them up as we go. Um, or you can put them in a, a neat orderly pile. And what can also help is to think through and walk through that whole project, imagining yourself achieving each of these tasks, walking through that project. Now, you might not be a post-it note person. You might like to jump onto Excel and put it in a spreadsheet. You might like to have a go at Trello. Um, which is a lovely free app that you can plan things out on. We, we use that loads at Mobilise for planning all sorts of work. Um, and that's what I've used for my meal planning as well. So go ahead, tackle this thing like a project, break it down into tasks and then see the progress that you can make, as well as applying those other tools and reflections that we've been talking about. Um, so there we are, that's your challenge for you. Do let me know how you get on. I love to hear how it's going. Perhaps that project is a thing for this weekend to start working on. Well, you know, maybe there's a bit more time over a long weekend to get that done. Let me know how you get on. Share your thoughts in the chat and in the comments. And yeah, keep visiting back over the, the separate videos that form part of this little series. Thanks for joining me on this journey. Um, it's been a real privilege to hear about what you've been working on and where you found some breakthroughs. Um, do keep sharing. Take care. See you soon. Bye-bye.